Hi guys, I'm Gabby and welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're returning, thank you so much and welcome back. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you step-by-step -step instructions for completing your NVC stage of your immigrant visa process. So I'm at the NVC stage now for my stepdaughter. I'm going to log into NVC's Counselor Electronic Application Center, which is their website where you do everything you need to do for the NVC stage. I'm actually physically on my computer answering the information while I'm trying to record it for you guys. So because of that, it might not be the prettiest or best video, YouTube video quality or YouTube video editing. This information should help you to be able to get it done when it becomes your time okay so you'll see maybe some weird angles and you'll see me covering up personal information but you're going to get to see what you, what it is you need to see to successfully get this done okay i promise you that so this is the signing page for the council electronic application center here is where you'll enter your case number you can find your case number and your invoice number on the welcome letter that you received from nvc be sure to read this Privacy Act and then select that you have read it and accept it. After you enter your case number, it will prompt you to enter your invoice number. You will enter your invoice number. Then from the drop down menu, you will enter who you are. Are you the petitioner or the applicant? If you are the applicant, that will be the person who is immigrating to the U.S. And the petitioner will be the person that fills out the paperwork for USCIS. You will also enter the characters that are listed above and put that in this field here. And then it will take you to the following page. So on this page where my finger is covering, you will find your case number, your visa class, where your case currently is, which is most likely NVC, which it says for me. Then you will also find your foreign state of chargeability. That is the foreign country that you're immediate loved one lives in. You'll also see your interview location and your priority date. So on this page, it outlines the steps that you will need to complete before NVC schedules your interview. Step one is to pay your fees. Step two is to complete an immigrant visa application form, also known as a DS-260. And then step three would be to submit your required financial and civil documents. Not only do they list the steps above, but they also provide a diagram of the steps you are to take so you'll understand the process that NVC goes through and what they expect for you to do in order for them to be able to schedule your interview. Underneath the diagram is where you will go to pay your two fees. The first fee is the affidavit of support fee. You will simply click the pay now button and that will take you to the page to pay your fees. So we're going to click on that button and it will prompt us to the next page. But before we go, just FYI, I'm covering up my name as well as baby girl's name. So that's the only thing that's being covered, okay? Also, let me quickly point out that the pay now button underneath the two fees are the only things that are active now. Notice that the start now button underneath the affidavit of support documents and the IV applications are not active. So once you pay these two fees, then NVC will activate these other buttons. Okay, so you click the pay now button and it'll take you to this screen. So it brings you to the fee invoice for your immigrant visa case and I'm covering up my case number. So your case number will be there. And as you scroll down, it will give you the options to pay those two fees. So here are the two fees that you need to pay. The affidavit of support fee, um, that's $120, and then the immigrant visa fee, which is $325. You must pay the fees separately. If you try to select both of them, it will give you this error message letting you know that you can only pay them one at a time. So we'll check the box for the affidavit of support fee and then we will click pay the selected fee and it'll take us to this page. So this is just a billing information page. So here's where you will enter your payment information, which will be from either your checking or savings account. You cannot use a debit or credit card, unfortunately. So you will simply enter all the information with your um, checking and or savings account information. 
select that you agree to their disclosures for payment and then it shows you how much the fee is $120 and then you will click the button to process the fee after it processes your payment then it will take you to the um, payment receipt or well, payment information page which will give you all your tracking numbers that you will need to help you, you know track your payment so make sure you um print this page and have a copy of your receipt so now that the payment has been made we can see that our status has changed to in process so underneath there you will see um, it's changed from pay now to in process in process for the affidavit of support fee now however this still has to be reviewed by nvc and also we still have another payment to make which is the immigrant visa um, fee so we need to do that next so you'll notice that the start now button underneath the affidavit of support documents um, is still inactive because as I said before you need to complete the payment of both fees before NVC will activate those buttons so as you scroll down the page here let me come in you'll see here for the affidavit of support that's what it says will be my name under there which will be um, the petitioner so here it says a role this person which is me is the petitioner and the primary sponsor, the affidavit of support fee, and the affidavit of support documents and financial evidence. You notice here it says affidavit of support fee is in process because I paid that um, fee, that $120 fee, um, not too long ago. And now here it says start now, which is where I will click this to start uploading documents. But as I said, I can't because I haven't completely paid all the fees and NBC needs to um, unlock this feature for me. So like I said, it's steps, it's in steps. You can't just go do it whatever way you want to do it. It's a, it's a workflow on how they want it to be done and you will only have access once they allow you to. So it's in process and then here is the applicant information. So that's the principal. The principal applicant the person that's trying to immigrate to the u.s so that's baby girl's name right there so that's baby girl's name right there and it says pay now so i have to pay her immigrant visa fee so once you paid it then it'll go to in process so once i pay this fee you'll notice that this will change to um in process and the civil documents is in a because once i do all these three steps then nvc will need to review everything then they will um unlock this feature and allow me to upload civil documents okay so it's all a process it's all in specific steps that you have to follow so it's a very straightforward site easy to follow so guys um now i'm ready to pay the immigrant um, processing fee so i'm going to click that okay guys so it brings you to this page which is the um, fee invoice page as you see here it says fee invoice for iv which means immigrant visa um, case and then it will have your case number and then here if we look closer it says this is the payment status of the AOS and the um, immigrant visa fee that are listed below. So this is where you'll come pay your fees. So here, as you can see, it has the petitioner, which is me. My name is listed here. Um, this is for the affidavit of support fee, okay? So the affidavit of support fee is $120. It says payment status is in process because I've previously paid made that payment. And if you notice here, you can't select it. When I try to select, it gives me that circle with the line through it, meaning I can't complete that action because it's in process. It's already done. Now you hear, you see here is this is the second fee that you have to pay, the immigrant visa application processes fee, which we're about to pay now. And for so 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 the affidavit of support fee 
is supposed to be the fee that the petition, the, the person that's um, sponsoring and helping the um, the U.S. citizen or, um, or U.S. alien resident as bringing the person over, they are responsible for the affidavit of support fee, which is $120. The person that's immigrating, the immigrant has to pay an immigrant visa application processing fee, right? This fee, as you can see here, so under that, it's, it has the applicant's name. So this is for the applicant, and that fee is $325. And you notice here, it says process status that is not paid because I have to pay that fee. Notice here, it gives you the directions. So it's very straightforward. It says pay the fee. To pay the fee, you have to select the box, then click pay select the fee button. And it lets you know that it takes two to three business days for it to complete and will that it will have that in process status until then. So right now I'm still within that two to three day window for the affidavit of support fee. So that's why it's saying in process. So according to them, after two to three business days, then this should be marked as paid. Um, they said that you can sign into this case again after two to three business days to verify that the payment setter has become paid. So I'll log in in about three days and this should be updated to pay. Then your next step would be to um, view and print the email receipt and learn what to do next. Um, you would click the payment receipts button below or the receipt tab above um, to the right, which is, this is the receipts tab above. So there's tabs here. This can take you home. This could take you to the fees, which is, this is the fee page. So we're on the fee page now. And then this will be the receipt. So I'm going to follow the directions. So I want to pay this fee, the immigrant visa application processing fee, which is $320. So as I said, I'm going to select um, the button. As I mentioned before, you cannot um, pay these all at one time. I think I've showed you in the previous clip. Um, if you were to select both of them, it will give you a prompt saying that they both can't be selected at the same time. So you have to pay each of them separate. I don't know why they do that, but um, I guess it allows for you to log in and then the um, petitioner to log in as well, because as long as both of you have that, um, the case number and the invoice um, number, any of you, any one of you can log in. So say your, your spouse or your relative is abroad and they want to pay one of these fees, they want to pay their own their own fee, they can log in and come here and pay it. But it has to come from a US bank account. That's the only thing. It must come from a US checking or savings account. It cannot be paid through any other international account and it cannot be paid with a credit card or debit card. It must be paid with a bank account, a US bank account. So um yeah. So I'm assuming that's why they um, make it separate so multiple people can make payments if needed. So anyway, we, we selected. This is the fee we want to pay. So now we're going to select here at the bottom. Just kind of follow my cursor. Pay selected fees. All right. So then this brings us to the, um, the payment page, okay? So this is the payment page and this is what it will bring you to. Um, let me remove this thing so y'all can see. All right, so it'll bring you to the payment information page for your um, case. So it's basically just giving you some instructions about this transaction being secure. And it will take three days after you've submitted for your financial institution to debit it from your account. Once the payment has been received, click on the payments receipt on the invoice page, which was the previous page we were just on. And we will provide you with the information necessary to complete the next steps. Okay. So here you'll just log down and you'll enter your um, bank account information. And it notes here, it says that for security reasons, it will time out after 20 minutes of inactivity, all right? So if you find yourself taking longer and it shuts you out, just log back in with your um, case number and your invoice number. Um, so you can use a commercial business or a personal account. That's what it's telling you there. You just have to select what type of account it is. So it's very straightforward. Just enter your banking information 
your account information, um, the okay. So you'll need your routing, your routing bank. Excuse me. You'll need your bank routing number, your account number. Um, select which account it is. Business checking on saving, personal checking on saving. Um, and then here it just lets you see where you can find your routing and backing number on your um on your check itself. Let's see. Can we scroll down some more? Okay. So your internet information, and then you have to select this to agree to their terms for submitting your payment. Um and then it's letting you know what amount, and then you'll say you'll select make payment. So let me go ahead and enter this information and then I'll show you from there. Okay guys, so I've entered all my information. Um, I just wanted to note that it's telling you here when you're authorizing um, them to pay that they said that the federal agency using pay uh, will be using pay.gov service to complete um, your transaction. So when it comes out your bank account, um, the merchant should show as pay.gov, okay? Just in case you, you're um, wondering. All right, so you make sure you select and agree to um, this disclosure and authorization. Then this is just notifying you that the payment is $325 that you're paying. Now we're gonna click. We made sure that all our banking information was correct. And we're gonna click click payment so now it's letting you know that it's submitting the payment okay so we submitted the payment and it brought us to this page which is the payment information for your immigrant visa case so here um let's see let me close these out so it brought us to this payment information page It'll have your case number. It tells you your payment amount, which is $325. You paid the immigrant um, visa fee. They're thanking you. Um, this is your tracking, your pay so it's from pay.gov tracking information. It will give you a tracking ID number, a payment tracking ID. Okay, it will give you a pay.gov tracking ID number, a payment tracking ID number, a EPS tracking ID number and the transaction date. Okay, guys, so this is the payment receipt for the immigrant visa fee. All right, so it says here this is the immigrant visa fee payment receipt. It will have the payment amount, the date, the payer, which is my name, which is underneath here, and the transaction ID also underneath there. Then it has the applicant's name, which is baby girl, her name is underneath there. And then the IV fee payment status, which is the immigrant visa fee, is in process and the payment amount. Okay, so now let's see what the next steps say. The next steps, you can just follow along here. It says, if your payment status shows that it is in process, again, you have to wait two to three business days for the payment to clear. Then you'll sign into the system again to check for a status update. If the payment status shows a status other than in process or paid, you will need to sign into the Immigrant Visa Invoice Payment Center page and click on Get Help. So you will use this link if you don't have a status of in process or paid. Okay, again, this is saying if your case is terminated, do not attempt to make any payments on the site. Um, now, it says when the immigrant fee is status is paid, visit nbcstate.gov for instructions on continuing the process of your immigrant um, visa fee. So basically, when it's paid and you log back into the CEA system, it'll give you the steps to um, prompt you to move on. And some notes um, to keep records of everything you do if you can't print it return to the receipt screen and, a, and a email a copy to an address where you can print it later. Again, do not wait more than um, one year to pass before you log into the system to complete it. So here is what they're talking about. You can, here you can either print a receipt 
or if you have you can't print at the time you can email a receipt and then you can hit finish let's um of course if you hit print we know that's straightforward but let's do the email just to see what it looks like all right so okay so this is the page if you want to email a copy here it they will have your email address um that you previously provided you can select that or you can select the addresses that they already have they should have the principal applicant if it was provided and then the petitioner which should have been provided you have five options so you'll just um i'll just have them submitted here and guys i don't know if y'all saw my other video where i was saying it was sent to the wrong address this address is my yahoo address and this is my um, e gmail address because i logged into the system and gave them that information so yeah that's how it got sent to my yahoo and i was sitting there waiting for my welcome letter not knowing it went to the wrong email address but anyway you can just select that whatever email address you want it to go to and then click um email receipt so i'm going to select email receipt and and then it lets you know um you successfully use the system um then it says you can return to two two to three business days to see if your status has changed to pay for your um fees that you have to pay but let's go back to the summary Okay, y'all know this, it logged me out because if you've been sitting there for a while not doing anything, the system will log you out. So make sure you have your case number and your um, invoice number close by to be able to go back and you'll have to log back into the system again. So if you're sitting there for like five minutes or more, I would say, and you're not doing anything with the site, it will log you out. But don't worry, it does automatically save. It's, it appears that it's automatically saving. But, you know, just go back and check and make sure. But um, when it happened to me a couple of times, I was able to go back to where I was previously and nothing was lost. So let's log back in. All right, so we're back to the main page. And it's showing us um, the status of our two fees for step one. So we have our affidavit of support fee, which is in process. And then our immigrant visa fee that we just paid um, is still in process too. If hover over is letting you know that USC, I'm sorry, is letting you know that the US Department of State is processing um, the fee. If you click it, it'll just take you back to that page we were on with the receipt. We have paid the fees, which is step one. Step two would be to, uh, submit well, step two would be to complete the ds2 which is the immigrant visa application and then to submit our financial um documents but we can't do that until our payments have been marked as paid and once it's been marked as paid then nvc then nvc will unlock these features this once this turns to paid and, and paid then we'll be able to start these things. We'll be able, this will um, change to start now. I think it, it'll change, it'll um, become unghost and you'll be able to click on it and begin submitting your forms. So now we'll just have to wait for these statuses for both fees to update to pay and for NVC to unlock these features, allowing us to complete our immigrant visa application and to start uploading our documents so they'll unlock this we'll be able to click on it and start completing the immigrant visa application form okay so we'll just have to wait for that to happen and we'll continue from there all right okay guys so we've completed step one of the process which is to pay our two fees so now we have to wait for the status for both those fees to change from in process to pay um, that will take two to three business days. Then they will unlock the next feature, which is to complete the um, immigrant visa application as well as starting to upload civil documents. So be on the lookout for that video, which means y'all need to go ahead and click the notification bell, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. So you'll be notified 
when I upload that video. Again, as I promised, once I've done all the steps, we're doing this kind of like in real time. So once I've done all the steps, I'll combine all the videos. So you'll have one place to go to access, um, one video to go to to access all the information. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.